Hello boys and girls. This is a video I was hoping I wouldn't, 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 couldn't, shouldn't, wasn't going to have to make. Um, as you know, I'm rebuilding water pumps. And I initially ordered my water pump rebuild kits from Moss. Well, they used to be XK's Unlimited and they were a great company. Uh, now Moss took them over and it's gone downhill, unfortunately. And it, it's a great pity because the salesperson that I deal with there is an extremely nice chap and uh, we have a good banter. But the product is no good. I'll show you that in a minute. I ordered the rebuild kits from them. I ordered four rebuild kits at a cost of approximately 200 and something dollars. Can't remember exact, about 240, I think. Um, and in order to uh, press particular parts of the seals and kit in, uh, it then seized up the shaft. So I complained to them and said, hey guys, you know, come on, uh, these are no good. Uh, that was well over a week ago now. Oh, we're looking at it. How long does it take you to say this is a piece of crap? Or if they want, then that's their choice. No, you fucked it up. All right. The first one I pressed in didn't work right. And I thought, OK, maybe maybe I screwed up. You know, maybe I did something wrong. It's it's possible. Um, so I did a second one. Same result. In fact, the second one shattered, um, I don't know, some ceramic piece in there. Never seen that before. Uh, and I'll show you, the, as I said, I'll show you the kit in a minute. So uh, I went back to uh, an original receipt I had and found out where I'd previously got the water pump seal and impeller kits from. And I discovered it was S&G Barrett. Dealing with my friend over there, Frank, uh, I call him Riviera, that's not his right name, but uh, Frank at SNG Barrett, and I've ordered another four kits. Let's compare them, shall we? And you can see I haven't opened this box yet, so if the kits turn out to be the same, oh well, I'm betting they won't. Hopefully I have some other parts in here too that I ordered. Ooh, look, bubbly stuff. Yes, isn't that fun? Sorry about the interruption there. That was the director, or better known as the wife. Important news for going back to work for her. So let's have a look and see. What have I got here? Ah, my little... That, that's, for, that's for one of the water pumps, a, a new grubby screw. And here are the water pump kits. Now look how neatly it's packed, how everything's nice and flat, the gasket's not bent over, and there is this lovely seal in here, and also the impeller is solid here. There's a reason I'm pointing this out. You'll see in a minute. So this is one of my nice new kits. Oh, what is this? Oh, this is my brake kit. That's really nothing to do with this particular uh, video. So let me see. I have four kits in here. Let's just move this to the side and show you the kits next to each other. So this is my SNG Barrett kit. Why don't I open the bag so you can see what's in here? Note, the gasket is actually in its separate bag. The impeller, very nice, solid. The seal, 
again, nice little bag. Beautiful. And of course, the shaft. And we all like a good shafting. It's even got part numbers on it. How excellent. Now, let's go to the kit that Moss supplied. As you can see, it's in a padded bag. Hmm, okay, yep, yep, okay. Um, it's ra remarkably small. Look, here's the gasket. Um, so, we open the kit that they sent, and what do we find? Well, there's the seal, the impeller. Oh, and the gasket's been folded in half inside. So, not particularly good. Also, nowhere near as thick as this gasket here. Very flimsy. Sorry guys, it's a piece of crap. Now, I'm not going to open this bag because I'm going to return this. This is the seal they sent. Compared to this nice seal. This is the impeller. Look at the difference. That side, a lot less, oh, looks like the bag's open. A lot less metal on this side. And then when you flip it over, again, less metal. This, to my mind, I'm no expert, is a much better impeller. Pretty close to the one that was original. Let me put this seal back in here because otherwise they're going to bitch when I return it. And I'm still waiting for them to say I can return these. So I will be, after this video, contacting my salesman. Uh, these parts... Hmm. <laughs> now there's another little interesting feature. You see there's a little hole there. That's for that grub screw to go in. Does this one have that hole? No. For some reason there's a ridge on there. I'm not quite sure why that's there. Um, and look at the... This is... I'm sorry. I loved XK's Unlimited. They were great. But... I don't know what that was. This is crap. I will never buy any water pump rebuild kits from Moss. And that's who they are, they're Moss. They're not XK's Unlimited anymore. And the previous owner of XK's Unlimited, I am so sorry you sold that company. I understand you did it because you wanted money for whatever, but this is a fucking joke. Okay, I'm pushing this video out. You guys are going to see it. You Jaguar people, be warned. Now that XK's Unlimited is owned by Moss, it's not as good as it used to be, that's for sure. Welcome back. This is the uh, addition to my bitching about that uh, water pump. This is my clutch master cylinder. Time for a rebuild. Now, do note there are two kits, and depending on the cylinder you have, you'll need a different kit. This one, uh, what is this number? 6593. Unfortunately, it is the wrong kit. Um, I made a mistake in ordering it, um, but uh, Mr. Barrett has been very generous in helping me with getting a replacement and it's not worth me sending this back so if uh, anybody needs this kit 6593 you pay for the shipping it's yours the kit you do need uh, hmk 104 master cylinder rebuild kit and the difference is that you can see this cylinder this uh, seal here it's not got a hole in it and uh, that's what you need 
Oh look, this one's got a little love note with it. You can tell I haven't opened this before. <laughs> yeah. Excuse me, got an itch. Got a snitch. Is this one piece of paper printed round a corner? It is! <laughs> oh, so it's just showing you the the way the seals go, but of course it's <laughs> it's different to what I've got. Oh, but they do show it on this side. This is the one that I'm uh, I'm putting together. Ring type main seal, whereas this one is cup type main seal. So they <laughs> you see they just <laughs> chopped it out of one piece of paper. All right, never mind. The kit is what's important, not the stupid piece of paper. So, and here, oops, we have the three seals. Okay. One's got a big old, one's got a little old. And then obviously this is the main seal. And then we have this lovely little washer. Now these do have to go on in a certain order. So what we should do is, uh, let me show you the order and other items. So there is this spring and there is this little special um, washer so that it doesn't push, the spring doesn't go over it. Okay, so that's there. Now, you grab your, your main shaft. First thing you've got to put on is this little thingy here. Then you grab the smaller seal and push it over. It's got the small hole. That fits like that. So, let's just slip that in there. Before I push this in, let's get the other seal, put that on. This is always fun. I hate doing this. In fact, let me see if I can get some lube on it. You may ask, what am I lubricating it with? Dot five brake fluid. Now, do note, should you decide to go the same way as me and use dot five, not four or three, don't ever mix it. It does not mix. They don't play nicely together. And one of the biggest mistakes I know people do make, and you mustn't, is that they say, oh great, yeah, I'll go to dot five brake fluid. Well, only if you replace every rubber component in that circuit, you know, and if it's the, the clutch or whether it's the brake, whatever, you do not not replace the rubber seals. The rubber seals are a little, uh, what should we say, absorbent. And when you mix the two fluids, the dot five and uh, dot four, shall we say, that um, seal has already got some dot four soaked into it. And when the dot five and it meet, they expand. The seals then expand. And as you can imagine, what would happen when the seal expands and doesn't want to give up? Yep, you got it. You have a frozen, locked on brake, clutch, whatever it is. So you really do need to make sure that uh, you replace all the seals if you decide to go the route I'm doing, dot five. I am going dot five because my whole new system will be clear. Excuse me, I've got to get something to work this because I want to get this seal. It's not, it's not sitting quite right. Excuse me, I'll go away. Right, I'm back. So now our next task is to get this in here. Uh, I'm not going to do it dry, obviously. This is the fun job. I'm trying to get this to go in. And that feels a little dry, so what I am going to do is just pour a little fluid in there. Oops! <laughs> Came straight out and squirted on my hand. Ooh, don't you hate it when that happens? All right, so now let's get some on this seal up here. There we 
go. As careful as she goes. Okay, let me see if I can just push that in now. Drunken car parts. This is not easy, guys. You're fighting against that spring. And the seal. That is not easy. Just trying to make sure it's going in straight. Maybe if I can get my uh, brass pusher. Hang on a second. That doesn't feel right. Oh, right. Take this off. I'm going to push that out again. Maybe I need to lube it a bit more. Something's not quite right. Looks like the seal was okay. So like that one was okay. Tell you what, let me pour some more fluid in there. Slush it around a bit, huh? Let's try again. Wow, this is tough. I didn't expect it to be that tough. Maybe I've got that seal on the wrong way around. I don't think I have. Let me look. No, I haven't got it on the wrong way around. But that way around, of course, it's tough to get in. Don't really want to use a hammer. I don't like this guys, I really don't. I don't know why that is being such a bitch to go in. Gotta get past that uh, that ridge there where the circlet goes in, and that's the problem I'm having. Is it doesn't want to go past that. What could I do? What could I use? I need some kind of rubber grease that's not going to be affected or affect the uh, brake fluid, clutch fluid, whatever you want to call it. Is this moving okay in here? 
here, that's moving fine, so it's nothing to do with that. It is purely getting that seal in. Maybe I need to pull it up more somehow. Give me a sec. Now, this seal was pushed down from the top there. I've now pushed it up from the bottom, so the gap is at the bottom, which I'm hoping will allow this seal to close in. I think maybe it was jamming up against that. I don't know, but that's my theory. So let us see. Let's try again, shall we? note that future reference okay get your sew clip loaded in your pliers ready because now this is where you need three hands and also you need a brain I haven't got one of those so I'm gonna have to just do it myself so here we go In, grab your circuit pliers. If I suddenly disappear, don't worry, it's just that I can hear a fucking great bee behind me somewhere. <laughs> All right, and I just want to push that, make sure I get that in the groove. In the groove, in the groove. Right, let's see. Make sure it functions. It functions and it doesn't come out. Now, one last thing to do is to put this little baby on. This is just a dust cap. And this is fun. Oh, maybe I should have put this on from the other end. Oh dear. Uh, no, I couldn't have done that. I'd have to fight past the washer anyway. So, forget that. Let's do it. One fork at a time. Okay, and then grabbing a tool of choice. Once you've got it over one, hold it there. And let's wiggle and jiggle and pickle it and get it over the other one, eh? <laughs> Put it over one, it comes off the other one. Yeah, all right. Look, if you're not going to play nice, I'm going to replace you with a Ford. Huh? There we go. So get that over there. Now you need to get it onto that little collar. Which, in theory, shouldn't be that difficult. There you go. That's on that collar. And then just pop it over here. And there we are, assembled. Well, almost, hang on. Do note with these, you've got a big washer and a small washer. Sorry, there's an ice cream van outside. Do you like an ice cream? A Mr. Whippy, a 99. I prefer a 69 myself, but there you go. And that goes on there, ready. Obviously I can't do any of this up until I get it in position. And the cap. One sort of restored uh, clutch cylinder. Now, you may have been thinking, oh my God, he's got brake fluid on him. And he's touching the paint. It's dot five. It doesn't affect your paint. So, then you have these bunch of old seals, all for the trash. So, there you go. Um, 
hope you found that of interest. Uh, if you didn't, there really isn't much I can do about it. Not that you care. <laughs> uh, next, what is next? I don't know what's next. I'm glad, glad to be getting back onto the Mark II stuff, which I know is what most of you guys tune in for. Um, sorry I had to step away from it for a while, purely because I'm waiting for things to be done. In particular, I'm waiting for the body to be finished. Uh, so hopefully that won't be too long. Now this I'll just put in a nice little bag and store it out back and uh, see if I can find something else to restore ready for when the car comes back. Always, <laughs> Teeth aren't working again, sorry. As always, please do like, comment, subscribe. Ding that bell and you'll be notified every time I put another video out there. Whether or may, may or not be of uh, interest to you is, well, that's, that's your choice. Okay, now get out in that garage and do some shit.